So, uh, Korku Salan, thank you for the follow. For, you know, for the reasons that I'm a bit sick uh, today, I'm not gonna add any, um, any webcam. Sorry about that. So, you're not gonna have the same kind of reaction, but we're gonna try our best to keep it civil. But we'll see. We'll see. Funny cat should be in. By the way, guys, um, uh, no, I'm telling you, I'm sick. I don't want, sorry. Uh, just, just curious, would you guys be down to watch me do like a Skyrim run where I would have a Kavat looking character? Literally, literally a Khajiit named Kavatan for no reason. Face cam just for the full main one? I don't, sorry. Funny cat jump scare? Oh. Alright, wait. Where is uh, Bobam? There he is, okay. Alright, let's start. Disable this, because then, you know, people were not able to see people's names, and yeah. <sighs> he did not read. Alright, let's see. Not running Serration, because Riven has enough damage. This build works for both primary and secondary fire modes. So we have a... Queller. Queller. Uh oh. Okay. So Queller is a bit intro, bruh. What does the plus slash do on the Riven? Queller is a bit of an interesting weapon. The Queller, as a weapon, has really, really good damage. A very, very high ammo pull. And then very lengthy reload that you can counter it with other stuff. Um, Trucy here tried to counter the ammo issues with prime fast hunt, and he is not using any kind of pirate buffs as well as using critical delay, which makes me believe he is using some kind of external buff like arcane acceleration or whisper or something like that. So, you know, this could probably work. But I have two issues with your build. One is the fact that you choose to use Prime Fast Hands, but then you choose to not use Primary Plated Rounds. The only, and I do mean only reason, why I would use Prime Fast Hands on this gun is to take advantage of the huge Primary Plated Rounds uh, damage up that you can get for this for free completely free just empty your mind right i'm not even using it i believe i'm using that uh, of um, no, nothing at all you know so empty your mag completely and then this gives you 580 percent damage that lasts for 10 seconds and the thing is that yes reload time is four seconds with a maxed out prime fast hands, if we go to clan shots, has no fire, so it's kind of against it. Yeah, but he's probably using external fire. So with prime hands, hands it would be like 1.8 seconds, right? So 1.8 seconds shaved of the 10 second mark will allow you, especially for the secondary fire, to pretty much use the entire mag for primary plated round if you wanted to go that way. And that would make it completely insane for the secondary fire that deals a ton of damage. As it is right now, you're kind of losing damage in this regard. The damage of primary plated rounds is a bit less consistent, but even if you waste like 180 ammo and then reload, you still get the benefits of primary deadhead. The only thing you're realistically losing from deadhead is the headshot multiplier. Kasoro, welcome. Um, the other thing is that I would add... Wait. Wait, what? Okay, so... Are we lying here? Oh no, it's cold innate. 
not electroconnect, right. Oh yeah, I have, yeah. My raven has electricity, I need to reroll it. Yeah, so coordinate, malignant force, can save mod slot like that. Okay, so two things. First of all, primarily predict round. Second of all, if you're using the secondary fire mode more, then it's more beneficial to use internal bleeding here instead of hunter munitions. If you're using both and you like both, then, you know, this is absolutely fine. It's amazing to do hunter munitions viral since it's so easy to get the viral proc. And overall, this should feel pretty nice. I just, you know, I would prefer adding the plated round here. Because, like, wait, let's go to the same real quick so you guys can see this. I feel like if you actually see this instead of just me talking about it and you have a visual representation, it's going to be way, way, way better to know and to notice this. But this is a good build. I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10. I think the Riven could use a bit of help because Plash Slash is pretty bad. Plus damage helps a lot because you don't need to um, add serration. This basically replaces serration entirely because serration is 165% and then adding more doesn't do much. So, let's just, you know, go ahead and show it. So you just waste all of the ammo, whatever. I'm gonna kill the two butchers using the wrist. And now look at the plated round. Plated round is in 508%. And then, you know, this can just happen from plated round. Which is pretty crazy. And as you see, the buff from plated round while using the secondary fire is up all the time. I never lose it. But let's say that I don't actually use all of it. And we're still here, right? Now, we'll reload at like 100 bullets. How much do you think I will get? 387%. In comparison, Deadhead is 360. So this is still beneficial. If you're not just aiming for headshots permanently. And with primary fire, I've already lost the buff, but... I mean... You know. It's still really good, especially if you're going for a secondary fire based build. So yeah, that is my thoughts on your build. Pretty good, in my opinion. Oh no, he. Okay, well we're not looking at that, obviously. But yeah, you can uh, you can make this better. You can make this feel a lot better with the played around stuff, and then maybe a bit more uh, damage per secondary fire if you want to go that way. But overall, it's really good. I need to get that weapon. Yeah, it's really nice. So. Pullman Prime build from Divine. Uh, what uh, what did I expect, really? This is almost as good as a MC Gamer CZ build, really. So primary Frostbite Shivering Contagion. Let me see what Shivering Contagion did, because I don't remember. I think it's like spreading the status. Effect is by cold status have 30% chance. You have a note built for cold, so you know. Is the Pullman Prime better than the Tenet Plasmore? Two different weapons, I wouldn't compare. Yeah, it's like it's like that build, Bor. It's like that build. Stabilizer and Guided Ordnance. You really need to learn how to aim, brother. Agile aim? Damn. He's a gamer. Terminal Velocity? W. W. This actually helps the secondary fire. Proton Jet. Real. Alright. Chat, he's cooking here with Proton Jets. Look at this. Status chance and critical chance. Whew. So this is like a primary fire build, real? <laughs> we all know you're trolling. Cold damage from my Nova. Ah, I see. How does Nova deal cold damage again? <laughs> build of the day material? Yeah, this is this is fire. This is build of the day. This is some wicked fucking build. Look at it. I mean, you almost have anything, everything. You all, you're only missing one toxin mod, and then you can go to town. So replace agile aim with uh, a toxin mod, and then you go level cap. You this is on the way to level cap, real. But let me ask you this question: first of all, why is ammo drum not maxed? 
I don't care that it's a float mode. You need to max your fucking your fucking modes, alright? And then Primary Frostbite rank zero. Bro. Primary Frostbite rank zero. You were You are not real with this one. Wait, actually how do I look in the camera? Let's see. Could be could be worse. I don't have any I don't have anything next to me besides water. Hey, you know what? Fuck it, we'll keep it. And if we get uh, if something bad happens, it just happens. You don't even have max? Hmm. I'm sorry. D just because your primary first bite is not max and then your ammo jam isn't max, I cannot give you a 10 out of 10 on this build. So you're getting a 7.5 out of 10 of this build. Good job, Divine. Well played. Would would you know? Alright, next one from Squish. Squish, uh, you know, he was the person that kind of suggested this at the first. And at the start I told him no, because I, I felt like, you know, if I did it for one person, then everyone would want to do the same. And word would spread around. But then we made it into a series just for him. So, you know. You know. Wait! What am I looking at? I can understand why you needed help. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I looking at, sir? Bro, did you? Oh, hell yeah, what the fuck? Who allowed him to cook, dude? MC Gamer copy? Oh my god. Did Nightmare Frame would be jealous of this build, so let's count the things that are fucking wrong with this spell. <laughs> so, I respect the lasting thing shattering impact because you can go reliable slash build and shattering impact helps you deal upfront damage. And then you're going magnetic. Obscure all of it. <laughs> oh, okay. You have a veiled melody. <laughs> I can't. What is the Riven challenge at least? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's 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 throwing it. Get three headshots in a single aim line. Oh, he's even showing the things. Ah, yeah, it's for the parkour velocity. Real. Guys, I think this Parados build is almost peak. You know. It's almost peak. What does Guardian Derision even do? Real. It's been reworked, so I don't know what it does now. Blocking taunts enemies within 15 mirrors to target you instead of allies, plus 30% combo count while blocking. We're having a blocking Freydos build with a fucking unmaxed Sovereign Outcast and melee fortification. Bruh. Bruh! But you know what? It's Prado, so this cannot get lower than a 5 out of 10 because you have the correct evolution for parkour velocity. Look guys, this is parkour with Prados. And this is parkour... <coughs> sorry. This is parkour without Prados. See the difference? 5 out of 10. Amazing build, keep it up. Uh, I would probably max lasting thing in your stance mode, but... You know, amazing. Good job, Squish. What the fuck am I looking at? Fortification gives armor so you can block taunted attacks while parkouring everywhere. Do we know what fortification actually does? Like... Yes, it gives armor, but have you read what you need to do to, to get fucking armor? <laughs> Should have gotten a 9? Nah. I'm not giving that a 9. That would get best build of the day, seriously? Nah, we're not real. Alright, Azu, my friend from... Uh, I don't know where exactly, but somewhere in the Middle East. 
he has an Equinox build here, which is very interesting. What is going on here? Wait. Is that Zoality Augment? Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. So what we're seeing here is Advanced Warfare. This is a build to fucking become unkillable through Nightfall. I'm not sure where streamlined form helps. Is this to lower the thing even more? Is it like improving the... No, it's a slide in friction. So 10% strength with precision intensify. The only thing I don't understand is why we need 10% strength. Negative power equinox makes enemies deal 5 times damage. Except it doesn't, because he has precision intensify. Except you mean his third ability? It's 4-4? Four, four? Wait, it's third ability, right? Wait, 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 wait. I have an Equinox myself. So, he is hovering this shit. Yeah. Okay, so for fourth ability, that build is unironically decent. If he activates this, you're all dying. This is some advanced trolling, and I like it. But I have one issue. Nice face cam, I wanted to ask. Okay. Go ahead and ask, I guess. Molt efficiency. For what? I mean, regardless, uh, this is an interesting build, because you don't die, but your allies do. So this is a real moment right here, and you're getting a 9 out of 10 here. The only reason you don't get a 10 out of 10 is because Arcane Aegis is rank 0. Channeling drain reduction? Yeah. 5 times damage, yeah. Enemies are dealing 5 times damage. You just get one-shotted, it's amazing. But this is a real 9 out of 10 build. This is real trolling here. Goddamn, you guys are being quirky today with the troll builds we had one normal build and three troll builds so far what the fuck is happening all right nikki uh under riven is lethal torrent okay and you're using crit evolutions oh this is a this is a vasto okay seeker deadhead seeker lethal torrent what Imagine using that Equinox in before Chimedia. No, no, no. I have a better one. You you guys go for some level cap um, Void Cascade. And, yeah. You just missed yours. I mean, I gave it a 9 out of 10. This is a real fucking troll build. I love it. Good job, Azu. Um, but, yeah. This... Uh... Alright, first of all. Do we really care about our fire rates the answer is no so why are you using prime pistol gambit instead of the you know the funny mode where that i don't remember the name where is my vasto this i mean the difference is not a lot it's like what 12 percent but 13 percent but i mean when your weapon has 76 percent base crit chance it does affect a lot I'm building my Equinox from like that from now on. Yeah, that I'm I'm keeping that build. I'm doing one, I'm doing one build for like that. All right, Seeker. Uh, I I don't know what Seeker does here. Like even if we this is hit scan, right? So even if we just go ahead and get the the guys to to have you know the funny. It is hit scan, right? Wait, let me check. Yeah, it is. It's good scan. So Seeker does nothing. Newsflash, Seeker is so useless here. Holy shit. Like, 
First of all, you would use this only inside of um, disruption missions, because that's what the best thing. It's the best gun for disruption missions in the entire game. And second of all, you have Seeker, which you know, I mean, it's like to make this a bit more AOE-ish. Or if you have a projectile weapon, you can make it have a crazy synergy with Zada's Whisper. But you're doing neither here, because this is not a projectile weapon. So. Yeah, you're not achieving anything with this. Lethal Torrent is good, Galvanize mode is good. Uh, this is nice as well. I probably would add more damage from an expel mode instead of this. And then your build would be pretty much the same as mine. I think it's pretty much the same. Oh yeah, and you don't have Prime Convulsion. I forgot, the mod exists in its Prime form now. I mean, that's kind of unlucky, not on you, but... You know, kind of wrong arcane. Outburst is better if you're going with that way. Deadhead is the best if you don't gonna go crit heavy. But even something like Cascadia Empowered, no wait, yeah, Cascadia Accuracy. Even this could be super good here, <laughs> super fucking good. Like this weapon is so crit heavy that even more crit just breaks it completely. So yeah, Nikki. Unfortunately, your build gets a seven out of ten. It's like okay, but. Misses the mark a bit, unfortunately. Heyo, he up next with uh, an unfortunate term of events that my, my boy here had the unfortunate opportunity to bug out on a Void Cascade level cap and completely miss all his rewards. F's in the chat. But he, he sent a Heat Inherits Protea Prime build. And this is looking a lot like my Protea Prime build. Which is great. And I don't even have Protea Prime, so... Yeah. We are missing, uh, compared to my build, a bit of strength. And we're accounting it with more range. Which feels nice, especially if you're using... Um, you know... If you like big rooms and shit like that. But I felt like with this, more range was not needed. And this could work just fine. So not bad. Uh, however... On your build, I can tell that overextended is probably not needed. Like, you can... I have overextended on mine, but I'm also using an hour minded right? Because I like having a lot of duration. Since you already have duration, you can probably forego this. And just, I don't know. What can you even add here? Prime Floor? You have it. I don't know, Agro Secrets? Like, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the same. Like, you're literally only missing, uh, you know, just overextended is not needed on your build because the range is enough. I was thinking Algor message. Well, Algor mode, any Algor mode can help. If you want something else that is pretty interesting, since you don't have Prime Sure Footed and you're working with Handspring, you can change Handspring to normal Sure Footed and you can slot in the fortitude mode here which gives a 40 percent chance to resist knockdown paired with normal sure-footed that is max rank if i just put it here it's 60 percent press 40 percent and gives you the effects of prime sure-footed so it's pretty good to do this i'm not sure if augur modes actually fuck with her shield gates uh that Castor is saying it doesn't I haven't been into that at all But I'm not using algorithm modes on her at all. So I wouldn't know But in general, this is a really nice build also like power donation because you don't need the strength and you can give it to your teammates But if you play solo then growing power is better in general your build is pretty much Perfect you could just probably change this since you're using two most of the time and just use another mod to get something different so uh ko very nice very nice build you get 9.5 out of 10 this is an amazing amazing protea build that i vibe with myself we pretty much have identical builds in terms of usage and stats and if you guys want to see what mine does
mean, it's pretty decent. Three turrets, level 180. Only three of them don't die, and that guy got shot it only once, so... If you have a weapon that deals hit damage, you just shoot them once, and then hit inherit happens, and yeah. Gaz did a bit on that issue. Yeah, well, I don't watch Gaz, sorry. Uh, yeah, so for the video about it, you get sorted duration on shield gate, not sure if intended. Oh, okay. Would armor should be needed for that build at all? No, no, not whatsoever. You could use some kind of primer with a lot of heat damage. Like, if I want Nuker here with this build that uses Cascadia Flare, maximum heat damage, and all that. And I just do the same thing, but this time I only shoot with a new core and one turret, right? Then we shoot. Look at the damage. You see this? 90k. That's the power of Hidden Heritage right there. New core is amplifying the stacks and then the stacks to take the damage of the modded new core, but on Protea's second. So this Riven mod that gives hit, this prime heated charge, you know, they they both go into Protea's second and just amplifies it and it's just amazing. So yeah, this is a an insane build. I would just do the change that I told you to get the benefit of Prime Sure Footed, but without having it. And then when you get Prime Sure Footed, that you can just form a hair again. Protea ranks up really fast, uh, you know, very quickly. If you just go on any steel path mission, you can just use her turrets, and her turrets will kill everyone and give you massive XP, so you don't need anything. Just go Ilara and go rank 30 in like 5 minutes. Alright, Mazda RX-8 R3 with the fucking Do It Christmas tree icon, amazing. She has uh, this. I'm not taking a look at your mag build for the simple reason that I said that I'm only looking at one build and one build only. So, this is a Arca Plasma. I know it because of the ribbon and no other reason. And it is multiplicative, so it's fine. All of this that I'm seeing is kind of fine. Using magnetic bonus and the build would go viral and electricity with a prime charge cell, so... Okay, two things. In my opinion, the Plasmor, it's... You don't really care if you're doing status blocks with it. Because it's a shotgun that, you know, you shoot once, and especially since you have a mag build, you know, all I want to do is bubble, shoot, enemies die, Pull the bubble out with the element and then let the bubble do insane damage. I don't care about shooting more than once, so I don't care about getting more starter chance. So the first and best thing that I would do is use a second prime mode. Prime chilling grasp here is getting, you know, is getting no love where it should. Also, you see, an, you have an acritox riven, which if the stats are good on it, you have a negative. You could easily slot a skier instead of toxic barrage. And get the best of both worlds. Also, Deadhead. Deadhead, you can stack it on the Plasmor, but the Plasmor cannot headshot. So you're losing half of the Deadhead uh, power from the extra headshot multiplier because one point one, uh, you know, one times thirty percent is still one. It doesn't change whatsoever with Deadhead. So Deadhead is not giving you more damage and merciless would give you a better reload so merciless all the way is like way better it's just i guess for keeping the stacks but you're using mag anyway so if we go with my mag dead hit only good on august <laughs> shut the fuck up so my mag i use counter plus and magnetic discharge and fracturing crush or three augments and then if we go arc plus more Marco Plasmore also has a Riven that is Grenier heavy, but if I don't fight Grenier, then I don't need it, and I can easily just use something else. In this case, it would probably be Prime Point Blank, you know? Or, I don't know, another Cleanse Mode, maybe? Something like that? Prime Point Blank kind of helps it, though, for sure. So, this build right here. Not the best. Oh, I have vicious spread. I'm sure. Hold on. I have vicious spread for reasons. Well, you're, we're using Mac, so vicious spread no go. This prime ravage. Yep, yeah, this is it. 
Okay. So with Mag, when you're using this, all you all you care about is literally this. You put 20 of these guys, and then you press two. You want to shoot once, and they should all die like that. If I shoot, if I need to shoot one more time before the enemies die, then the build is automatically not good. And you see the damage is like not the greatest, it's okay-ish, but as long as you need one shot, then you're good to go. Should I use Merciless instead? First of all, yes. Of course. It's Plasmor, Merciless gives you reload speed, the Plasmor reload is literally 2.3 seconds with this, so without this it's 3 seconds, it's very lengthy. Galvanized Acceleration on Plasmor is absolutely cracked. I'll show you, it becomes a, a literal sniper, and then it bounces around more in your bubble as well with Galvanized Acceleration, so this mod is a must-have. Now it's stacked, look at this. You see, that wall is 56 meters away and we're bouncing. And the bullet just keeps going. Even on one stacks, it, it's like, it becomes a sniper, it's crazy. So, you know, hunter munitions is not really needed if you go for mag, and we can easily slot more damage here. Like, if I really wanted to, and I had the chance, I would go Prime Chilling Grasp here. Maybe I can. Wait. Uh... Right, so, do this, and then swap polarity, then do this. What the hell? Oh! Doom guy 2001 welcome to the video. I'll gladly sell you it. Alright, so this gives us now radiation barrel. Uh, the prime charge shell plays into the radiation part. For good I was online on Warframe markets. Amazing. And then, you know, you just do this. And now it somehow takes two shots when we added damage. How is that possible? Okay, okay. Regardless, uh, you know, more damage is just what you need. How did you swap polarity just like that? You just go actions, swap polarity, and then you click, click again, they swap like that, apply, and you're done. So, let's go uh, trade with the guy real quick, and then we'll talk about more builds. But yeah, your build uh, on the Plasmor specifically, I haven't seen your mag build and I won't see it because I'm doing one build per, per thing. But, you know, if you just add more damage, you can get way, way better results because you don't care about the electric proc because that's seeing how you name this and how you build. It seems to me like you want the electric proc, but, you know. Uh, primary Merciless and then more damage will just help you one-shot the enemies regardless without the need of the electric proc and then yeah You get way better results. So your build overall it's decent, but you should uh, make the change and then it will feel a lot better as well as uh, Primary Merciless, so that gets an 8.5 out of 10 Not bad. Very good combination with a mag for sure. Mag has some nasty, nasty combos when it comes to weapons, and Plasmor is one of the strongest ones she can do. Uh, if you haven't tried, I suggest going Tenet Grigori. Tenet Grigori with her is an insane, insane combo. Alright, while he's joining, let's check the, the next build. So, the combi with a turret. So, wanted to try out something else than Viral Pass Slash on the weapon. Oh, he's fast. Tenet Blinks Arca Plasma Mirage. What the hell? No, not this one. This one. He's not on PS4. Real. Oh, we're. Mm. I see something that I already dislike, and I'll tell you what it is. So, uh, you are not using aptitude. This is a beam weapon. On a beam weapon, uh, aptitude is a must-have. 
And one more thing to know is that the turret's primary fire, the small blob that kind of sticks onto the enemy and deals damage, has multiplicative CO. And unfortunately, you know, we do not see it here. Now, I wouldn't say to use both serration and aptitude, obviously. We don't care about that on a beam weapon, but aptitude here instead of serration is a must-have. This will skyrocket your damage. This was th this would like easily take your damage to the next level. All right, we're we're getting close closer for that ember skin, you know. Uh, overall, I see you have taken the evolution to give you just crit on the torrid. While if you want to do something like this, taking the evolution with crit and status here to sacrifice literally five percent base critical chance for having plus fifteen percent status chance on a beam weapon then yeah uh ember skin is in july with xenocon but i am saving platinum for it for sure because we don't know how much exactly it's gonna cost it's rumored on 480 but i'm gonna get more just in case uh, this corrosive cold setup as the damage distribution that i'm seeing is okayish since wait corrosive cold I'm thinking something, right? Because corrosive cold is pure damage. Primary frostbite could amp up the cold and give you more crit damage, but yeah. Uh, are you serious right now? Yeah, I am. Wait, Toxidus. Wait, you have Toxin on this. Oh, so you're you're trolling. I'm looking at the wrong thing. You're 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 still trolling. All right, so listen up. If we have a Riven with Toxin, we should not use another Toxin mod whatsoever. We should look for something else to use. So what I want you to do is do this. Your polarities are absolutely fantastic, and we're gonna abuse them. You're gonna remove Prime Sure Footed and Serration. It's not Prime Sure Footed. It's the other Prime mod that is funny. So, <laughs> we're gonna be removing uh, Bro got the Torrid Riven for no reason. No, the Riven is correct. That's not what I'm saying. The Riven is correct. Uh, we're gonna be removing Prime Cry Arounds and we're gonna be removing uh, uh, Serration. So, those two are gonna be gone. You're gonna put Galvanized Aptitude right here. And you are gonna remove Malignant Force, add the... Um, High voltage, was it called, right? Yeah, high voltage. So you're gonna add high voltage here, correct? And then you could easily, since your even has toxin, put a heat mod here and another heat mod here. Waste of slot has Riven, but also Malignant. Yeah, Rivens are supposed to save the slot, exactly, and replace one slot on your build. And in this case, it would be a Malignant Force. So you can remove this, remove this, remove this, go Galvanized Aptitude here, go Electricity with uh, High Voltage here, and then here you put uh, Heat Damage and Heat Damage. So you would go with Hellfire, Thermite Rounds, Thermite Rounds here, Hellfire here, and then you have a Corrosive Heat uh, Torrid. You can put primary merciless here, and that way you can have a level cap Tory build that isn't viral hunter munitions, which can absolutely shred because heat damage is broken. With the extra, wait, let's try it. So, put a second. What the hell? I have three builds on the turret. What's wrong with me? Hey, regardless. So you would get 129.6%? Oh shit, wait. 129.6% status chance. And then some decent crits with a lot of more crit damage than I would have, for sure. Since you are using this type of build, you could also... Yeah, so something else is... That hammer shot instead of vital sense would probably provide you more damage here because your even has critical damage. 
So the extra status chance from Hammer Shot, which is actually a lot, don't underestimate it. Look at it. 80%. This is 60. This is 80. It's a lot. So you can add a Hammer Shot here, go up to 172%, and, you know, just say that we remove Vital Sense, and then, you know, you just go to town like this, right? Like, yeah. But obviously, you know, you do have to get the polarities different than me, so that... Actually, no, it's fine. I can do this with uh, electric mods, high voltage. So yeah, this would be the build. And this is me without the Riven mod. Let's go try it. I'm curious, actually. Zip guy, thank you for your contributions. Maybe you're gonna see yourself on YouTube one day and be like, Oh, hey, that's me. I did not get scammed today, for once. I appreciate going something different than Viral Slash on Torrid, since Viral Slash is so... Uh, powerful and I understand why you went serration here because primary frostbite doesn't give any base damage but losing galvanized aptitude on a beam weapon is something that you really don't want to do like it, it's something that you really want to avoid so let's see how it does Solvi all right and then we activate and look at the heat procs a hundred you kidding me 42 hit procs on that guy that I wasn't even shooting? That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I like it. You know, this actually makes the turret a lot more enjoyable. As a gun. I like it. My phase one turret? Yeah, I mean... Sure, but... Having high hit procs on this is actually way more enjoyable than just going Viral Hunter munitions just one-shotting everything and waiting for hit procs to do the job. It's gonna make it a lot more fun and a lot more unique. So, I mean, your build is gonna deal damage because Torrid is Torrid, but overall, uh, I am giving this a 5.5 out of 10 because even though the idea is good the execution is kind of bad especially with the riven and malignant force on the same build serration like this has a lot of issues honestly it has a lot of issues um up next san jean wall uh sorry if that sounded racist or i butchered your name i literally have no idea how to read it my bad <laughs> uh so a strong build that is from overframe so we're not screenshotting in game? Hmm. So your strong Riven is a fire aid, toxin, damage, uh, and weapon recall? You good? You got pretty close? Nice. Thank you. Soul leveling reference? So we're racist. Okay. Relax here. Uh, galvanized acceleration? Good. Cleanse mode? Sweeping serration. This I don't like. Hell, Salvi, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the Riven has toxin, so you get viral from this. This is so the the plus damage from the Riven is not great. I would probably try to find a different role because plus damage doesn't do much, right? But if you really want more damage out of your shrunk, sweeping serration needs to go for hunter munitions. Simple. Uh, the primary fire already does a shit ton of damage on this run. It always did, it always was extremely broken and people just underestimated. Look at this. One stack and it's like over. You see this? It does so much damage. However, one thing that people don't actually use is the Encounter Form's special ability. So if you aim the Encounter Form, the bullet goes wherever you want it. it and you know hunter munitions helps the actual aoe deal more damage and feel nicer what we don't know when we're doing this is that if we don't aim then we have a spread so you see now the bullets just go wherever the hell they want which gives us more aoe on the gun like adding half uh, heavy caliber on something like the kuva Ogus. 
And because the AoE is bleed broken, this becomes an AoE monster for base Lilpak especially. So if you don't like the damage your Shrun deals, if you're talking about primary fire, you're probably doing something wrong yourself. I'm not sure what it is. Also, my build seems pretty bad. Yeah, I would probably need to change the ribbon. Or take care of this completely. And add more critical damage with Prime Ravage, but regardless. On your build, if you literally... Like, if I had your ribbon and you actually just warp sweeping serration for 100 munitions, you're done. That's it. And what I've done here with Prime Charge Cell is because of the of this thing here, plus the Shrun Prime is a weapon that I always use with Gaia. Because Gaia with it has a ton of AoE. So, you know. Overall, I would say this is, you know, a really good build that if you swap just one mod around, you can make it insane. So, I'll give this an 8.5... No, actually a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. You're real with this one, but you don't show me what... Oh, you have Merciless. Okay, we're going down to 8.5 out of 10. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are we having Merciless? This thing is a shotgun that is like a sniper rifle. I mean, we're not hitting headshots here? We're really not hitting headshots? We're having troubles? Or what? Are we really not gonna abuse that head here? Oh, but that head with like AoE, whatever builds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, 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 actually. You guys are right. I am definitely not using that head on this one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, 8.5. Uh, good job, but, you know, swap these mods and the uh, arcane and your strong damage will skyrocket. You will be able to, like, go level 1000 so easily. So easily. So, uh, up next we have Gabi with the gl What is... Glaive Prime. Wait. Understood, thank you, no problem. Uh, I am confusion. Gabby, what? Utility... Sorry about the overframe, don't worry, it was a joke. I was, I'm not being serious, it's obviously a joke. Inaros player? Life Strike. Alright. Guys, let's read what Life Strike does together. 20% life steal on heavy attack. 20% of whatever the fuck the damage of this sure footed thing. Let's see. Okay, so we're dealing 20% of like a bunch of 1000 damage. Right? How much health does Inaros have? Around 10,000. Do you really, uh, uh, like, melee fortification as well, which Warframe are you gonna be health tanking with to get this to work, besides maybe Grendel, who has health regen? Glad to see that you don't own that frame. Wait, let me show you one more thing about me. That's right. Matter of fact. That's right. That's fucking right. Fuck Wukong. I despise Wukong. Despise him. He's the reason all the AoE weapons got nerfed. He's the reason we can't have fun in the game anymore. It's him. It's not the devs. It's not anybody else. It's literally just him. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Fuck Wukong. All my homies hate Wukong. If you play Wukong, I'm gonna get a restraining order. Real and true. It's so funny how we couldn't just nerf Wukong. No, you don't get it. We had to nerf every mechanic that had to do with Wukong as well as the AoE weapons themselves. 
Yay! Guys, 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 I know, I know. If we can fix Wukong by removing the clone, because let's say the rework was not a fucking success, obviously, he has no identity. But no, we must nerf, like, every kind of AI shit in general. And then, you know, we have to nerf AoE as well. So, let's see. Ombra got nerfed, Duality got nerfed, Spectres got nerfed, and all the AoE stuff got nerfed. Because of one frame. And you want me to give Wukong any kind of respect? No. Fuck Wukong. Regardless, um, I don't know what your life strike is doing. I don't know why you're even using Gladiator Might here. It's like... I wouldn't say completely worthless because it's crit damage, but at the same time, we don't use any kind of uh, initial combo, so we're using half of what Gladiator Might does. I like Volatile Quick Return. If you guys haven't seen what Volatile Quick Return is, this is the best mod for Glaive weapons in the entire game. It increases your blast radius of every Glaive by 3 meters flat. So normally this is 4.8 meters, with this it's 7.8 meters and you get way more AoE. So overall... Crazy good. Chilling blow prime pressure points, I mean Yeah. And I mean the so listen, the build is very close to mine, but I'm using power throw instead of smite mode, and I'm also using the initial combo mode instead of his you know whatever mods. Oh no, I'm not using initial combo, I have the Riven mods. It would change initial combo though. So what I would change in your builds to make it feel a bit better and keep the properties that you want to keep for whatever reason, which I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna tell you to remove Gladiator Mites and replace it with Corrupt Charge. Because since you're using the Grave Climb as a utility melee, you're not gonna be building combo on it. You're just gonna be throwing it and then exploding it and that's it. And Corrupt Charge will double your damage, while Gladiator Might will give you 60% crit damage, which is, you know, not the same whatsoever. Uh, overall, this gets an 8 out of 10 because I don't like the idea. I feel like Life Strike is pretty bad in, in general, but for the usage that you want it, I guess it's fine. And we'll leave it at that. So, yeah. Uh, no, actually 7.5 out of 10. I don't like Mellow Fortification either. So Revo sent a Nightmare Frame clip? What is this? Prime sure -footed. Why? why? You, you, you guys are just pretentious little shits. Please get some help. <laughs> what is this in Nara's build? Please get some help. <laughs> Prime Redirection. <laughs> <laughs> rank 9 uh, this this is build of the day this is it this is build of the day this is build of the day this this is it this is it why is hundred handspring there with prime shoot footed i mean do you see how many things are wrong we have vigilante vigor prime redirection fast deflection arcane barrier arcane aegis prime shoot footed power drift handspring fortitude Sure footed and constitution on an Inaros build with shield regen thing. Restore shields. More time less time spent on your butts, you know? If you do not have prime sure footed. Why why? You, you, you guys are just pretentious little shits. Please get some help. <laughs> Please get some help. This is a 10 out of 10 build. This gets build of the week. I don't care. This this gets build of the week. I missed all of those because my brain went to the rhyme sure for it. Oh shit. Okay. Now we have a siren. Whoa, what the hell is that word? Okay. How die. Um real. Prime sure footed squared. This guy gets it. Alright, so we have a regular Venom Dose Siren build with you know whatever. Catalyzing shields, equilibrium, yeah, 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 all well, this is fine. I mean, I don't know why you use stretch, but sure.
max stats of corrosion, 15% ability damage on enemies affected by corrosion. This only helps your thirds. And then ability strength. So, I mean, you're sending me a siren build that is like the regular. What do you expect? <laughs> you're gonna get a 5 out of 10. But if you want me to be real and to actually help you, then first of all, no prime sure footed. Second of all, um, I don't get why we add more range when we can add a bit more strength since we need it. And third of all, this middle shard, except we're using some melee weapon, is completely useless and you should remove it for more strength. We're done. Uh, that was the fastest build rules I've ever done. Why are you sending me a siren build? Like, what do you want me to say? Oh, guys, uh, this is like my level cap siren build right here. Hold up. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna... I'm gonna bust right now. We, we are so level cap. Look at this. Crazy build, guys. Crazy build. Let's get a Bubonico going. Oh my god, amazing. Guys, it's so good. Nah, no, you don't understand, but it's so good. So good, level cap worthy builds right here. But if you want me to be real, this is my siren build and this is all you need. And Eclipse here is bad. If you want real stuff, you can go for Nourish and then you don't need to build for anything on the weapon. You can take a weapon without mods and go level cap. See, is that good? Um, next, uh, we have a... <coughs> Shit. We have a Tenet Tetra with a non-AOE build, apparently. That is using double dots and the non-maxed malignant force to get the damage distribution to be different. Which doesn't help for one simple reason. I'm not seeing your damage distribution so I can tell if it's good or not. It may be good, don't get me wrong. But yeah. Also, since you want this to be non-AOE, why are we using Merciless? You're using double dot. Okay. Dexterity. Deadhead if you have the damage. Real. True. Real. Tilta Alpha are very strong, but where is my ammo? Listen, Keo, I'll put another Tetra build, Tetra video that will fix that issue for you forever. But I really want to give the credits where credit is due because it was from a previous build rose, okay? Regardless, uh, you know. This build gets a solid 8 out of 10, because you are using the wrong arcane. You're not using a, you know, a mod here. And I can't see your damage distribution, but I guess it's fine if you want to do the double dot shenanigans. 49% and then you got, wait, let me count it. So 49 plus 85, so that's 120, no, 134%. So 134% versus 60 plus 60. Yeah, you can use a maxed out mode here. Do 100%. We max your modes and then you just... Uh, you're good to go. Just add the Vigilant Supplies. That's that Tetra build was crazy last time. Yeah, that's the Tetra build. That's that's that. But what another about another Salto video? And so Salto doesn't need more videos, man. Except I do a level cup run to showcase, then it doesn't need more videos. But we're gonna get some salt action on this video. Uh, and stream, obviously, since you're here. Uh, but yeah, this build uh, 8.5 could uh, do the stuff. I like the idea here, but it's not needed, thankfully. So you can just go with the damage distribution being fine and then max out the mode to get more status chance. And yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. Just add that hit. Add that head and then add the mod here and good good nine out of ten. Good job. Um, Quasus. Now, obviously, if I see a Quasus build and I know I don't see a heavy attack oriented build, then I'm skipping it immediately and calling it dog shit. Thankfully, here you have a Quasus build with the heavy attack properties, but for some reason you're using melee animosity. 
Why? Wake up. You don't have stars as soul rifle skin. No, I didn't get it. Uh, because I wasn't... I didn't have good enough internet connection to download the game twice. Uh, because I needed to re-download it on Epic Games Store. I didn't have the time or internet connection to do that, and I missed the skin, and it hasn't come back ever since. I am patiently waiting for the skin to come back, and if I need to give money to get the skin, I'll give money to get the skin. I don't care. That skin is beautiful. It's wonderful. Regardless. Um, first of all, why are we not maxing our mods? Uh, second of all, why are we using sacrificial pressure? Do we need more crits? Realistically, no. Third of all, spoil strike. Spoiled strike. Why? Um, so let's see what why spoiled strike here. So you guys, if you don't know, this beautiful mod right here is not actually multiplicative. It is additive. So you are using 165 plus 120, and then you add spoiled strike to get. Plus 100% base melee damage. This doesn't do fucking anything right now. If you already have these two or some kind of these two, he's using sacrificial pressure and killing blow, then spoil strike does nothing. Remove it. Gladiator might here is like <laughs> a thousand times better. It's like not even close. Uh, and then, and then, the best thing you would do, in my opinion, is at normal prime pressure point here, instead of sacrificial pressure, lower the crit just a bit. And then, if you were able to get constant yellow crits somehow, then instead of melee animosity, you could go with the only arcane that I don't fucking have yet, and uh, I, I'm so mad about this, and just go with rank 5. Melee duplicate. Even no, like even if you have rank one or rank two, melee duplicate on a weapon like Quasis that has innate multi shot is ridiculous. It is crazy strong. So yeah, um, this build is okay. Melee animosity needs to change. If you can't, you know, if you can't do it right now, then obviously go with fucking. Exposure, influence on electricity, fortification even would be better. But don't go animosity. It doesn't doesn't do anything. You want the one duplicate? No, no, no. I will get it. I don't care. I will get it myself. Uh but yes, this uh this gets a seven six point five out of You You need to change some stuff, for sure. And we need to learn what these two mods do and why we shouldn't use them together. Cool, cool. So I know, sorry, but yeah. Uh, up next, Gorus, he's in chat. Hello, Gorus. Welcome to the build rolls, and we're getting a Prisma Dual Cleavers build with melee duplicates. Melee duplicate, in case you guys don't know, it's the strongest melee arcane in the game currently. And except it gets some kind of nerf, it will stay at the top of the ladder. Um, uh, except, you know, melee influence builds and melee influence setups that can out damage, uh, but raw damage, you know, amazing. So, we are already seeing so many things wrong with this build. I am joking. There is not many things wrong, but there is some things that are wrong. First of all, the stance. Carving Mantis. So, this is a very, very specific stance that you use only on very specific weapons that are dual swords. And even on something like the dual cameras that Carving Mantis would help a lot, it actually does it. So, normal, the spam attack here has 200% bleed proc damage. And it's very fast. Now, if we go with Carving Mantis, it is a 300% plus a 200% plus a 100%. The issue with it is it's slow. And the part that is slow, especially, is the final hit here. It takes way, way longer. So even though Carving Mantis is theoretically really good, Crossing Snakes or Swirling Tiger, the best one by far, will be way better. Now to show Swirling Tiger, I have to do this, but we're seeing that 
Swelling Tiger has a lot of pure DPS and lacks more slash moves. Now the pure DPS is because of its ability to deal multiple hits very very fast. Now this is obviously preference as well, but I can tell you that Carving Mantis is like kind of rivaling Crossing Snakes. And after some testing with the both of these, I felt like Crossing Snakes was better. I will also show this to you right now. So get Quickening, get my Ember for Star. And now we're gonna use, first of all, the Crossing Snake stuns. So let's go. So you see, before we even stack anything, You know, it's obviously decent. I was using snakes previously, but decided to switch it. It has some trial and error going on, but you see that... Carving Man just, just takes very, very long. Cool, cool. I'll use Crossing Snakes, or... You know, this is Crossing Snakes. I'll use Carving Mantis for the rest, and we'll see. Dual mid prime. I like this. No, but I am thinking to make a build like that. Also, you know, Carving Mantis has this. This small CC thing. That kinda. You know, it kinda sucks. Especially if you're moving around a lot. This CC thing is kinda sucks. But the good part about it is that this final hits. If you hit it, then this guy is able to be finished for more damage. So, it's okay in terms of that, but in terms of damage and consistency, you're better off using Crossing Snakes or even better Swirling Tiger. Um, now, besides the stance, Discipline's Merit is decent. If you want more consistency, then Discipline's Merit is the best one to use. Since you're using melee duplicates, I would advise going for either Conditions Perfect, Perfection, this, helps a lot, especially if you have some hybrid setup like you do with Virals last year, or you can go Master's Edge. Even though this is additive, if you are gonna slash broke with that heavy attack, the slash broke will do way more damage. Regardless, um, you know, this build absolutely fine. Uh, whipping wounds, the the Riven mode, which gives a bit of range, so it feels a bit better to use this. And then condition overload, the rank zero vicious frost, very good, very good. Uh, Carnage mandible organs are that these are all decent. I would probably argue since you have so high crit multiplier that Organ Shatter could be swapped with Galvanized, or not Galvanized, Gladiator Might, if you can test and your crit chance doesn't go much higher than 100%, so you can keep the Melo Duplicate stuff going on. Uh, but that needs to be tested, I don't know the answer without testing this weapon at all. Uh, Prime Fever Strike, you know, fine, to get more damage, and then Prime Huey here, here is the first actual big mistake. Prime Fury is the worst attack speed mod in the entire game. It needs a buff. So Prime Fury max is 55%. Okay? Okay. If we're using Gladiator Vice, we're getting 30% plus Blood Rush 10%. I love how he's waiting still Garbo. Yeah, of course he's using Prime Fever Strike. But he can fix the waiting. That's the, There is no issue in the waiting. has guaranteed slash box. It has a lot. But, one is this, and then the best one, Quickening. What does Quickening do? What is plus combo count? Basically, your combo increases way faster than normal. So you see on the bottom right, if I'm even attacking multiple people at the same time, it increases the combo way, way faster than something like Prime Fury would. Which means you're ramping up your damage way faster than what you would get with Prime Fury. And this is obviously amazing, because if you actually lose your combo multiplier, it doesn't take long to get back to where you were. So, yeah. 
remove Prime Fury completely. Um, you could try to fix the waiting by removing Prime Fury Strike and adding a 60-60 mode, but I personally wouldn't do it. it. You don't need to do it. And then, you know, test if you can change Organ Saria for Gladiator Might and keep hitting yellow crits only without hitting orange crits. If all these align together, then this could actually do really well. Duplicate also helps with combo gain, correct? So these two would stack. So, 8.5 out of 10. Like the build, decent, but you know, you could, you should probably change some stuff up. And also try DPS with Carving Mantis and then the other thing again. The best way to test DPS, by the way, in case you don't know, is you get any Warframe whatsoever. You use 100% uh, range exactly and as in Snare. And then you go into any simulacrum room, spawn them, put one in the middle, he grabs everyone, just like that. And then, you know, you just go to town. And then you test the damage like that. You know? By the way, the Teko Prime here that I was using, it doesn't have uh, melee influence, just saying. Teko is broken, simply. Uh, regardless, you know, uh, melee weapons in general are kind of harder to build. They need a lot of trial and error, and, you know, you need to test stuff a lot more. So, uh, up next, Drywall Devourer. Uh, Tigris build. Okay. Tigris build. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right. Let's let's Blood is thinking we're using snipers. What the fuck is this? Why do you need the ammo on the Tigris? And why do you have normal Tigris? Why is your deadhead not maxed? Why is your savvy not maxed? Why is tactical pump here? Tactical pump? Alright, hold up. 60% reload. Fucking... What was the cold mod that reloads you faster as well? Where is it? Chilling Reload, 40% and you gain cold damage, 60%. Are you serious? No galvanized chamber on a shotgun. And he is saying, I've been putting off arbitrations. No, you need, you need galvanized hell. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Zero prime mods. Unmaxed galvanized mode, no galvanized mode on the fucking shotgun. Atomic fallout. Why? If you're using atomic fallout, why not go corrosive then? Tigris is meta, it will work sometimes. Okay, man, let's listen, 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 listen. I don't want to be this guy, but let's go. Let's go. We're gonna get his build step by step. Except we're gonna have a max out dead head, okay? So Ravage... He doesn't even have a crit mod. He has straight up Ravage. Bro needs hell in general. What the fuck? How did he... Dude, Divine, you sent me a troll build and he outdid you with a legit build. That's crazy. Tactical pump. Can I use chilling reload? Is that valid? Okay, Atomic Fallout, let's go. And then we'll, we'll need some uh, Corrosive, in my opinion. He's using Viral, but I'm gonna go Corrosive Radiation Cold, because I'm quirky like that. And then, I don't have Narrow Barrel, bro. I don't have- wait, is it- no, I just don't have it, bro. Ain't no way you're using Narrow Barrel. 
Does any mod use accuracy? This is minus accuracy. On equip, minus recoil and plus accuracy. Okay, this is what we're gonna use. No, I'm not gonna do that. Alright, this is the prime, by the way. So Atomic Fallout gives him a third shot, so that's why he's using it. But like... Bruh. Okay, Kavad buff. Hello? Or Kavad thing. Can you believe because of Galvanized Aptitude this somehow kills? That's crazy. No way. <laughs> Wait, busted? Real. The, the Tigris to me is a relic of the past, yeah. It truly is, but like... Isn't it so funny that this can actually work like that? And I know I fixed a ton of stuff about his builds, but that's... Like, why is Ravage here? <laughs> oh, okay. You know, Drywall Devourer, you're probably a new player, so... I'm not, like, I'm really struggling with Sedna right now. Do you think this will help me out? Ravage is because of Haru. My bad, Chief. Yeah, I knew it would die. Bro, it dies. I mean, it's kind of my fault because I didn't use the fucking one on that guy. And I needed like one second for my thing, but it died. Display Haro noted. Did you know you can make Phantasma viable with Haro? Real. I mean, this is still worst build of the day. We can save this. That is still 100% worst build of the day, and you can't tell me anything. Like, I mean, just wait, I'm gonna use the normal build that I'm using, in comparison. Oh shit, no, 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 we're not Haro anymore. Pause them. And respawn them. Alright, I wonder if it gets worse, can you imagine? Okay. Yeah, for sure it's worse, bro. One kill is all I need, and then you can go to town. How can someone not do me in worse build? You're not trying hard enough. Hey. The thing is, you're trying to send a purposefully bad build. They're sending a bad build because they don't know. You feel me? You feel me? They're sending a bad build because they don't know if it's bad or not. You're sending a build that is unironically like you know it's bad. You feel me? Dude. That is crazy. That is some crazy fucking build right here. That... Worst build of the day, good job. And I'm sorry, don't take this, like, seriously. Well, obviously, Build Rose is made to have fun. But holy shit, <laughs> you should get Galvanize Hell immediately. Because on shotguns, Galvanize Hell will quadruple your damage. Like, bruh. 
Bro. That's crazy. Alright. Uh, Toxin Progenitor. What are we seeing? Is this a Tenet Flux Rifle? As I'm seeing from the images, it probably is. Max, your fucking mods, what the hell? Flux Overdrive, good. But like, Max, your mods. Why are you using normal threads? What? We have three non-max mods. I don't care about Rhyme Rounds. He's obviously having like some shit on the Riven mods. Or not. He has Toxin Progenitor, right. For sure. No Arcane. What? Huh? Okay. Let's begin. Uh, do we need the extra slash from Fang Fusillade? Nope. Not his build. It seems like it's his build. Am I not understanding? You need to go back to basic or is he a lost soul and another person? Oh, wait. I don't know the gun, just talking to a person, they say dropping serration, lose damage, more slash box, more problem with damage, no, there's no slash box, and from the weight concept, 2k is less than with an element versus serration? Is he sending, wait, I need to, like, I can't see the slash waiting. He took four different pictures of the same build, or what? Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Uh, 129% status, I mean, Visidex Riven mods, so damage plus, wait, his Riven mod has damage. Okay, so why would you use Duration if your Riven mod has damage? That's why he's doing nothing. So his Riven mod basically replaces Serration and gives you way stronger Serration. So what he can do is completely remove Serration and add crit. Why not add crits? What's wrong with that? Right? What's wrong with adding crits to this? Look at this. This is a chat link build? I understand. Four pixels for you to enjoy in Grendel. <laughs> not real. But like, you know, on this build, for example, I don't need to add serration because I have this. I shouldn't even add serration because this is a hit scan weapon, but at the same time we're using slash waiting. So look, I have so much viral, but this much slash. Let's see how many slash brooks this deals with this waiting. Oh? What happened? Why are we dealing so many slash brooks all of a sudden, huh? Hmm. Something is not right here. Hmm. Guys, Tenet Flux Rifle is not an S tier gun. Don't come on. It's not it's not good. It's not good. It's not it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> Listen. Uh so Ouroboros, I'm not sure if you can talk to the guy anymore. I hope you can. But tell him to not care about slash waiting and just go for crit. Add crits. Add, add crit and you're good to go, literally. Also, tell him to get primary dead hit or primary merciless, something, so you can, like, do shit. Here is me using primary merciless on this and actual wisp. Look at the slash brocks, bro. That was 14 bullets. This shit is crazy. Hey, regardless, uh, his build, you know, tell him to max the fucking mods first. <laughs> Holy shit. So max your mods, get a fucking arcane or whatever, and then... Yeah, whatever. Uh, add, add crits to the weapon. Don't care about your waiting, just max out your rhyme rounds mods and then go to town. This is this is not worst build of the day, this is still worst build of the day, but this is a solid 3 out of 10 build. <laughs> that is pretty bad. But that is pretty bad. Like adding serration to this when you have plus 330% damage on your Riven on an additive CO gun, of course you're not gonna have more damage. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Of course you're gonna have more damage when you add fucking elemental instead of serration. It makes sense, you know? Anyways, uh, Zen Thakens is with the pur purple. Purple good. Uh, you have a Nami solo kill build? Oh, we're not using Nami solo to actually uh, stat stick? Or what? what? What the hell? Wait. Wait. So first of all, may I just say that I hate machetes in general and they're pretty bad. Machetes are pretty bad. Um, I don't get the spill. No condition overload? Prime pressure point instead of condition overload? Hmm. We're gonna have slash range and attack speed minus finisher damage. Alright, I mean, if you. So, for real, I'm not. If I see a fucking. Slight attack spam build, good. Uh, so, first of all, if I see prime pressure point instead of condition overload on a light attack spam build, I'm gonna go crazy. Second of all, if I see combo duration on a build ever again, when the primary and secondary arcanes exist, I'm gonna go insane as well. No priming is because it's for turning my brain off. Okay, then go primary and secondary dexterity. Why? Because you're still can just swap weapon for a heavy unit and just shoot it. Because your primary or secondary weapon will have plus 306% damage and you're gonna have 25 seconds of combo duration, or my bad, you're gonna have 20 seconds for combo duration for free. 5 plus 15 from the arcanes. So you can drop drift and contact completely, look at that. Also organ shatter is here when you're using a light attack spam build. Why is it not gladiator might? Gladiator mod plays a role into the blood rust and gets this blood rust to 50% instead of 40% and you're red critting more often. So many mistakes. So, so many mistakes. Also, one last thing I want to see in my name is solo to tell what upgrade you have gone for. So I have 29%, 39, so you have gone for this one. Good. Good job on that one. Also, you can get combo duration from here. Look at that. So this makes <laughs> drifting contact even more useless. Yeah, I talked about drifting contact already. We should not use combo duration on our build ever. If we can get combo duration from somewhere else, we can take it from somewhere else. What else can you get from here? Model weapon acquaintance increase followed by 60%. Fall off. Fall off? You mean follow through? What? What is fall off here, dude? I'm curious now. I'm checking what that is. Um, Alright. Do not apply to quick swap melee. Requires manual equipping. Fall off by 60%. What fall off? Known bugs. Plus melee damage. Uh, unaffected. Uh, affects pewter exalted. Yes, we know that. Evolution forms unlock challenge requires manually equipping the melee. Okay, well that doesn't matter. What? What does that do? What? Seriously, what does this do? There is no fall off on melee weapons. There is follow through. Does this mean follow through? Because if it does, then I'm gonna use it as well. That's good. <laughs> what the fuck? No follow through penalty. Yeah, but it says fall off. It doesn't increase the follow through. Let me... It means though? Yeah, I mean, they should fucking word it correctly. I don't fucking know. In before it doesn't actually work. Can you imagine? Alright. So, we're gonna first quick spam. See some damage numbers. 4, 8, 3, 4, 5, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now we're gonna equip it in itself. And then we get 15, 24, 15, 8, 8, 5... Lose the combo. Oh, that's encountered, obviously. Yeah, it seems to be follow through. Okay, if it is follow through, then yeah. Yeah, I like it. 
If I'm not, if I wasn't gonna use this for um, a stat stick, then I would go that as well. That's good. But why the fuck do they name it like that? Whatever. Evolution is one, one, two, one, one, one. Yes. Okay. One, one, and then two. Okay. Nice. Good. 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 Uh, yeah. Fix the the mods. Uh, you need to fix the mods immediately. Uh, but then this could slap. It, it could unironically slap. Good. Wouldn't melee influence be good too? I don't think so. If you have so much follow through, you don't need melee influence. You just need the grouping ability. I use the initial combo minus combo duration on the glaive. Is it that is that bad then? No. Initial combo is required on glaives. Kind of redundant because of Crescenzo. Yes, but the initial combo re required on glaives if you're not using Crescenzo. If you're not going for a, a mission that is going to be like level cap, then... Crescendo doesn't actually do anything on the glaive. Like, you're not gonna sit there and go, <laughs> like, finish your attack on a capture mission. You're just gonna take the glaive, fucking heavy attack the capture target, and then get out. Why do you need melee, du melee duplicate or melee, uh, melee crescendo, my man? You know? Just a thought. But uh, overall, uh, you know, the build Zanthakanthus, Zanthakanthus, holy fuck, I can't read your name ever is uh, pretty good uh, it's an ami solo w but you're gonna need to change these three modes for the modes that we said so condition overload gladiator might and then some kind of attack speed mod here like quickening could help a lot quickening could be awesome absolutely amazing in my opinion anyways up next vasla with his uh barakor build so this is speed trigger <clears throat> what the fuck? Okay, I appreciate one thing. You have replaced the Riven with... The Riven is replacing two modes at the same time, which is really nice. One thing I don't understand... Actually, two things I don't understand is, first of all, why are we not using a Max Out Stormbringer? Do we not like damage? And Riven gives a tax speed though. Oh yeah, true. So you're right. Wait, let me fix that. What I said. So you even gives a tax speed, so you can instead of this add 1.0 follow through. You add prime breach. You 100% add prime breach. 1.0 follow through. Damn, that is a prime breach moment right there. 100%. That's gonna be wild. Wild AOE. He wants 60 60 there but doesn't have, so he's using Stormbringer at 9 cost instead. No. <laughs> no, just. Just use it maxed out. If you don't have it, I don't care. Use it maxed out. What's. What's. Like, what's the difference? What? <laughs> that is what he said, man. I'm not buying that mod for 80 plat nor farming it with a 4% chance. I mean, it's not... Okay, first of all, it's not that hard. Get high voltage from the hive mission. But regardless, like, it doesn't... You don't use the 6060 to not ruin your... Uh, you're only using the 6060 to get the status chance, not to change what the damage is looking like. Your damage is fine here. Follow through was just invented to nerf melees. Yes, one hundred percent. It's just made to balance specific melee classes. So, uh, my dear Barakor enjoyer Bastwa, you will need to make not many changes, thankfully, but just the ones that make sense. First of all, your Stonebringer here needs to get max rank because this. You, you don't understand why high voltage is used on this Barakor. And you would be absolutely fine using a maxed out Stormbringer and you will deal more damage. That's all you need to do. You don't need to care about the weighting on the Barakor because it's a gun that deals only uh, elemental damage. And you don't care about getting magnetic damage or radiation damage onto the enemy. You're getting corrosive. And that's what you need to care about. Also, Speed Trigger... First of all, it's Speed Trigger, so that's a fail already. Where is Vigilante Fervor if you want to go more attack speed? Second of all... Your Riven gives you fire rate, so why would you need more fire rate? You can replace the fire rate mode, and you can add, I don't know, I'll unironically galvanize the... Um, oh, what is it called? Fuck. 
Oh. Oh shit. No, streamer bad. No, I was doing the thing and forgot to click it. No. Oh. No, another one. What the fuck? Bruh. Now she's gonna see. Bruh. How did you, how did I get two people? What the fuck? Where did the price of that thing go? Oh, it's 145 now. Bruh. Minus rep side, true. True. Man, what the fuck? Okay, uh, regardless. The, yeah, I wanted to go to the bad accord to tell you the mod. It's galvanized scope. This. So if you get this, you red crit on the secondary fire consistently. As long as you can aim. You have a mouse and keyboard, as I can tell by the cursor here. So you can probably aim for the head. Everything else seems absolutely fine, but you know. I would just uh, change the, the these these two these two you know uh, decent. This is a seven point five. This is a real seven point five build right here. Amazing. So two more builds. HMDWE one. Interesting name. You have an Incarnon Paris Prime. Paris was multiplicative. Okay. So this is raw damage with corrosive. Yeah, checks out. Raw damage corrosive, it it checks out. You probably can one shot uh, steel path with this one. Actually, let's test it. I don't have Paris, but I have his counterpart, Dread. So we're gonna take the build as it is with uh, corrosive. Oh, hold on a second. You're using Paris Prime, a bow. Where is this? <laughs> Where did this go? Bad streamer doesn't have Paris. Your streamer has Paris. And he has the Paris in Karnum. But his CBA is doing the same thing as it, the Dread. Oh well. Uh, regardless, why are we not using Sharpshot? On this build, I use Merciless because I use it with Matt. But here, you have no no way, like, why are we not using with Sharp Shot? Longer Sharp Shot hearts yet. I don't care. I don't have it max rank because I don't play enough Duviri. But if I played more Duviri, I would have it max rank right now. Hey. It's 100% his fault. Don't ask me. I can tell you right now it's 100% his fault. But regardless... We are just gonna go with whatever he has. So he had infected clip and high voltage. Good. I think he doesn't have hammer shot. Yeah, he has vital sense, so. Bro. Vital sense, fervor, and then. Critical delay. Hey, I mean. To fit the build, I'm just gonna do that. We're losing a tiny bit of crit damage, but. It's not gonna be that noticeable. Not gonna be that noticeable for real. All right, let's see what it does. So this is with deadhead, right? So oh, slash bro. I mean, it works. But look at this now. Look at now with Sharp Shot. Because this is a multiplicative bonus right here. It's not additive like Dead Hit is. So it's multipliers on top of multipliers on top of multipliers. Which means that, you know, first shot deals nothing. And then second shot, one shot. Look at this bleed proc. Look at this damage. I lost Sharp Shot. I got it back. Boom. 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 Let's see the incarnate. 
What the hell? Yeah. So, please uh, replace your dead head with longbow sharp shots, and you're kind of good to go, in my opinion. This build uh, is nasty for the dread, actually, and I might keep it. For like, uh, like only dread purpose. Also split flights, but split flights, you can't headshots. Actually, let's try it. Why not? It helps a lot with the normal uh, thing, but it helps a lot with the incarnate, but not the normal thing, so let's see. Okay. Yeah, see, now it does, like, where are my bullets going? You feel me? Also, you need to be shooting constantly for this to proc. And as you see, it doesn't really increase my damage compared to the previous one. So, yeah. I think Galvanized mode is, like, better for this specific scenario. Because, you know, split flights will need constant proking and then longbow sharp shot needs constant proking. And it's a lot of things to keep up at the same time. So, I wouldn't change your build whatsoever. Your build is awesome. But I would change the arcane to primary uh, or longbow sharp shot. So, your build is not build of the day because build of the day is the Equinox build. But if we weren't trolling, this would be build of the day. So, this is, uh, this is really good. Consider yourself a winner, Edge Aim DWE1. This is an amazing build that only misses a wrong arcane and a wand. Alright, I understand you're very excited about your, your build because you're last as, as well. So Piranha Prime. Uh... Yep, 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 yep. This this weapon is fun. On. Why are we not using a maxed out merciless? Do we not play a maxed out? Do we not play enough steel paths to get a max galvanized uh, or secondary merciless? Wait, hold up. You need two more. Hold up. Give me one second. We have played just together enough to get probably six out of all the. Arcanes completely maxed out. Bruh! Bruh. Okay. So after that, uh, you know, the, the multi shot modes here good, the creeping bullets, I prime target cracker here, decent. Uh... Here we go, the very, like, with the. People. Is Piranha Prime additive or multiplicative CO? I need answers in chat. Is it additive or multiplicative CO chat? What are we thinking? And don't go to this uh, galvanized setup. You will not. You will not find it there listed. You know why? Because this shit is a fucking... You did not find it on the list? Yeah. You know why? Because if you go to the top of the list, it says... Um... You know... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where does it say it? Still by past follow -up? No, 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 no. Many tests, no. Uh... Dude, come on. Where is it? It says somewhere that every uh, non-projectile based weapon is additive. Sheet additions. I don't want the additions. In explosions are intended to be unaffected. Okay. I mean. It's right it's somewhere. Anyways. I forget where this loop does just use the wiki link below. It's easier. No. Multiplicative. It's additive. It's additive because every hitscan weapon in this entire game, this control of hitscan through, every hitscan weapon in this entire game 
is Ardipsio. Also, you can find this in my Discord. If you go War System Chat, you can easily find it. So. Control F and R. Okay. So I checked it. Where does it say it? Says there's no factor. What? Hey, this does nothing. Regardless, every, literally every hit scan weapon in this game is additive CO. Every single one, right? Which means if we're using a hit scan weapon and we're using galvanized aptitude and hornet strike, hornet strike does nothing. It gives us as much damage as. Something like fucking, I don't know, steady hands. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. As long as our merciless arcane is hacked, it doesn't do anything. So, what do you need to do instead of Hornet Strike? You need to be adding more damage from something else. Thing is, I remove Hornet Strike. I, I, yeah. And you tried other things. Ah, uh, yeah. Steady hands is big DPS increase? Yes, and this weapon, yes. But in general, it doesn't give you any damage. Dealt less damage? Listen, if you're using Merciless, so first of all, I would probably use Dead Hit. Because you are gonna completely remove your recall, which is a lot of the piranha, and it's gonna become way easier to get the, uh, the form if you haven't played Piranha Prime. Basically, you get an Ak Piranha Prime when you are getting the thing. And this means that your Piranha Prime not only has more upfront damage, but it also is able to deal a lot more on headshots and have zero recoil. So Hornet Strike would need to be removed and then you would need to get the stacks before you try to get the Ak Piranha Prime variant uh, by killing three enemies on the same mag. So the thing that you can do and the thing that I would do personally is this so to bring this up i'm gonna need to get to the plank and show you the mods which is not tainted clip but ice storm this mod so this mod gives you a tiny bit of cold damage which whenever it procs it will help a lot remove honest strike for ribbon if he has a ribbon obviously but then it increases your magazine capacity for just a bit so you can have a lot easier time getting that act piranha prime and keeping the buff up on the Piranha Prime, this would increase your mag to, let's see, 40%, so do the math, then uh, 16? No, 17. 17. Multi short CC and something else. Alright, awesome. So replace Horn and Strike with the Ribbon and you're good. I mean, what? If you have Multi shot CC Ribbon, just replace Horn and Strike with Ribbon and you're done. What the hell are you doing? Also, Remove Merciless for secondary dead hit. Whoever got my booty doll struck a little. Okay, well, whatever. Punch Rune Riven? That could also help a lot. That could also help a lot. It doesn't matter how much your stats are on the Riven, but you know. Arcane Pistolier? No, I wouldn't use Pistolier on the Piranha Prime. It has very good reload and it has enough damage to keep it up. But for real, just removed Hornet Strike. This is a rookie mistake code. We have talked about this. Every hit scan weapon in this game is additive seal. So your build gets a 7.5 out of 10. Don't worry. I will build the Piranha Prime as well because I got a ribbon recently and I want to get the weapon to be good, but you know. You didn't know if it was additive on Mold Shot? Now you know. Any weapon that is hit scan is additive. All of them. All of them. So they allow you to keep this Phantom Second Piranha up, super fun. Yeah, but you can just keep it up without running out of fun. Pistolier has other uses. Don't worry. Anyways, uh, now that we're done, we can uh, just review the permissions again. Set so changes. And yeah, you guys can send messages again and keep sending builds. So, uh, for people watching on YouTube, you know, you can get here, send your builds, and then we can roast them just like we do every single Monday. And just do that. So, you chat, you're gonna have to give me 
two minutes, and then I'll need to do something. Somehow I did not get worst build of the day, I know, right? Alright, give me a second chance. We need to do some stuff here on the Discord. So, streamer mode and enable. Amazing. Alright, I have streamer mode again. Now, chat, we're gonna be doing something a bit different. So, first of all, um, we have a bunch of Warframe videos here. And can you guess what these Warframe videos are? Let me pull the chat here so I can see. Um, I'm tired of the streamer poor shaming, bro. I'm gonna poor shame all of you because, you know, we have a moderator here who can poor shame us and buy all of our accounts with just Latin. So don't worry about it. So I have found a bunch of Salta videos from different YouTubers and we're gonna judge everyone every youtuber's salta build right here first of all though we're gonna see the video that kind of started the salta stuff for me in the first place and it's Oops. it's time to kick gum and chew ass <laughs> And I'm and I'm <laughs> Got the old corrosive UI and everything, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Sorry, I forgot to turn my webcam on again, my bad. Although it will wait, I'll fix it, hold on. I'll make it a bit smaller. You have to teach you this lesson, old man. I think that's fine now. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh! Stop! Stop it! Stop talking! And then overgirth. But. Bro, got that a sort of a good man. <laughs> Literally. Anyways, so I tried to find something from Asian Invasions and it was really really bad and took a lot of time, so I'm not gonna do it. So instead, we're gonna see... where is it? I have Arthas and his stuff. And obviously I have this guy that we <laughs> made fun of today on the Discord. Ass Invasion, what the hell? So let's start with Arthas. Arthas was the first person to try to level cap disruption on the new disruption on a YouTube video, as far as I know. And search his thoughts about it. The Salta on level cap. This is, this is and was very satisfying. There's really a something unique going on with the Salta's primary fire. You can see it with, when we actually get a. A proc from Zara's Whisper on the enemy's head. That the projectiles just stay in there. And so you kind of have an idea that there's something extra going on that we, I don't think we really know and nor will we find out, actually. But it does deal a great amount of damage. Secondary fire also works. But I did brought a viral armor clip build, not a hunter munition build. And it's pretty good. I He's think using it's outburst with, uh, on his thysis. I think. Right? Oh no, it's uh, the arcane, I arcane rage. Like, you know, oh my god, revenant, I know, right? Alright, let's see. Where we actually uh, lost the stack. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Where we actually oh, lost he two conduits. I think there was a slash proc going on there. Yep, it was a slash proc going on there. <laughs> 
yeah we lost two conduits they stopped enemy no three conduits enemy stopped spawning and after we actually killed the last demo uh they started spawning again which was super nice and didn't what i was trying to do was actually to try the secondary fire uh, without using zara's whisper okay just really to see if it can kill you know okay. see the primary fire i think if i had more he's missing bullets bro oh definitely if i had more like procs more elements yeah with secondary and camber it will easy. deal a lot more damage obviously okay. 2.7 oh, million and his build seems pretty bad where is his builds okay what do you have here oh what well, he has three unmaxed mods and one of them is aptitude what the fuck yeah unban him right now thanks thank you amazing um regardless what the fuck? I saw an MC Gamer CZ make a startup video recently. Is that what brought this around? No. What brought this around was actually the MC Gamer CZ Kuva Ogres video, which we're gonna go after on. I'm not now I'm not saying that uh wait a second, I gotta reply to someone. I'm not saying that his build is like the worst thing in the world, but it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad like you're gonna see it we're gonna judge it obviously but it's probably the worst ogres build i've seen from a watch of, on a youtuber and i'm just you know i don't i'm not gonna say that you shouldn't do bad builds but at least if you're gonna use a weapon that we know is good and you don't know is good at least do the tiniest amount of research you know you're gonna see what I mean. Regardless, this auto build is it's okay. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but he has no maxed out mods. He's not maxing aptitude, he's not maxing cry rounds, and he's missing, you know, a lot of damage, but it's all right. Careless, hello. Uh so Arthur's auto build gets a seven out of ten because it's correct mods. You're missing maxed out mods, prime shred with uh you know with primary fire and whatever it's really nice divine said says you to my moderator and my moderator took action so up next we have Gal gambles uh one minute salta builds which viral hunter munition setup uh bane of grenier and prime fire storm so this immediately tells you this is a build that affects only the secondary fire and the primary fire he doesn't care about whatsoever so let's see how it performs Merciless, critical delay, chamber, vital sense, you know, everything is for the secondary fire. Let's see. Oh, it's old prime firestorm. No. 66%. Wukong! Sorry. Alright, let's see. Decaying dragon key, obviously. Alright. This is Gokstag's officers. That is a lot of AoE. The normal damage that he's doing is not a lot because he obviously does not have aptitude or anything, but the dot is nice. You know, I would probably... He's using acceleration also. I would probably not aim at the enemies and aim at the ground, but yeah. Salta sounds so different. It's the skin. He's using the shock rifle skin from Unreal Tournament. That is a very cool skin. Anyways. This I haven't seen. This I have not seen. So, I am not ready. Let's see... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And welcome back to another Warframe video. So today we're going over another galvanized buffed build today. We're going over the Stalta. Oh yeah, he has the... Yeah, 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 he has the sponsor. Uh, skip epic that. lightning gun skin. But we'll just go over it real quick.
Okay, they yeah, yeah, go 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 over the what is the build? Damage you could go. Why? Why would you do the opposites? What the fuck? Prime Cryo Rounds is right there. It's right there. Why would you not go a Toxin 60-60 mode and then Prime Cryo Rounds and you do the opposites? What the fuck? What's a vile acceleration? Kill us. What the fuck? In game. Back to the clip. Gives us some more damage. But if you have a crit chance uh, ribbon or something like that, you can get over 100% crit chance because this thing actually doesn't like negative fire rate that much. So you might not want to run critical delay, but I decided to have primary merciless giving us plenty of damage. All right, so let's see his uh... steel path gameplay in here as well. Oh uh, yeah, crazy. We needed. Now we have prime firestorm, so we're not doing as much damage. But as you can see, still very, very good against these EXO uh, Gok Gokstad officers. You can't even tell what the fuck they are. And there was a red crit right there. 39,000 in a large AoE for the slash proc explosions. So, very satisfying to use. And if you don't run critical delay, you can spam it even more. So, yeah, very nice stuff there. Let's just take off critical delay for some more uh, fire rate. Or rather, <laughs> take off the mod that reduces our fire rate. Now it's more spammable. You can actually just use this thing. If you have Prime Sure Footed, if you're playing Revenant or Rhino or something like that, you can just run around blowing stuff up. It's actually really, really fun. Uh, although it is very blinding, I will definitely, I will definitely admit, it is very blinding to play like that. Also, old Primary Merciless, 600 in. bullets. It, but it, so it is very effective. Primary well. Merciless yeah. used to double your max... So. Sorry for your eyes. Primary Merciless used to double your max ammo. It gives you plus 100% ammo maximum. There, so it used to be so good from the Granum Void, but you should probably be doing the Granum Void anyway to get these new tenant weapons. Um, and I would say I prefer this over the tenant Tetra. Now that the tenant Tetra got its damage fall off added, which was always intended, not my fault, by the way. Um, it, it actually has a lot more. See, his build is decent, but he has the thing swap because of his ribbon, which is whatever. I would not, I would still not do it. Okay, uh, so his build, Gaz's build, uh, with the Riven mode, obviously. This right here, infected clip. It, it still gets uh, an 8 out of 10. I'm not sure why you would not use fucking Prime Cryo Rounds ever. Like, just swap this around, add a deep polarity and a dash polarity, and you're good to go. What the fuck? Like, bro. You... I don't know. Also, you're using Hunter Munitions, but no base damage, no Galvanized Aptitude. No, this is... Wait, I'm taking it back. This this build is horrible. Wait, this build sucks balls. The, the Salta is just broken. <laughs> what the fuck? He has no Galvanized Aptitude and no Serration, and he's killing. On a multiplicative CO gun. Hmm. Hmm. really gonna be able to person guys you're guys you're you're not galvanized aptitude doesn't apply to aoe i don't care Just shoot the target like if you're not using galvanized aptitude then use serration you want your bleeds to do damage right your bleeds scale of a base damage only so what the fuck God damn it. <laughs> I'm scared around. I don't know if this is a good camera angle because it goes directly to my door. Regardless, guys, this build it gets a 6 out of 10. This is. You're losing so much damage and Salta is just broken. This is why it works. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, up next, we have MC Gamer CZ. This is that build. the ephemera doing that? I don't care if it's the ephemera doing that. So he will explain everything and then. Is this the build? Is it. Vile acceleration there. Just okay. Oh my god, MC Gamer somehow has a better build than, than Gaz. Isn't that great? Door jump scare for real. Old days when everyone simply threw away all base damage and used Merciless instead. Yeah, but like, 
Well, they don't understand how bleed procs heal. So get a ton of Wait, this is unironically better build than Gus. The thing I with the primary fire, though, is that it's not very accurate. It sprays around a lot. Maybe it would be worth putting in Guided Ordnance. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guided Ordnance. Hmm. No difference. My god. Yeah, it's just, it's pinpoint accurate now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pinpoint accurate. No, 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 no. Are you joking? Like, for, <laughs> for real? Oh, yeah, she needs one I, XP. <laughs> I don't want to put the accuracy on. Because, like, it looks so cool when it sprays the bullets around. But when you put on the accuracy, it doesn't do that anymore. And it doesn't look as cool. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but... I like the way it looks when it sprays the bullets around. Okay. If you're not a moron, run guided ordnance. No, don't run guided ordnance. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, good to take. Yeah, 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 for real. Slightly inaccurate. Let's do a proper t My bloody kills. He actually didn't do it this time around. Okay, so we're good. This is sick. I love the way this feels. The damage is tremendous as well. An exquisite combination of fun and damage. He's not using like secondary it. fire at all. What about a guardian Eximus? He is Focus not using well. secondary fire at all. Oh, very good. I don't remember the Skalta <laughs> being this fun. He's having fun with the most basic type of whatever. It sounds pretty good as well. I can of agree course, with we that. get Torment again. The one acolyte that constantly cleanses status. Oh my god, can you stop, please, for the love of god. That was a big hit. Wow, he actually... A direct hit with a secondary fire. Yeah, you actually used it. When he was fully it. primed. I Ooh. love the amount of parkour being done. I know, right? big chunk. Oy, 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 In our main moments. This. The corpus ramp up is even worse. Okay, I understand it's AoE, but like, can you hit the enemies instead of the ground? <laughs> Why are we aiming the at the ground? Yeah. Oh, and Harold steals my kill. You absolute bastard, Harold. No. Please, just let me get a kill. Just I shoot the, the drone. Fire just shoot the drone. Luckily, you only okay. really need to get one I'm kill for I'm aptitude sorry. to kick in, and then you're good to go. I know Yay. I keep saying it over and over and over again, but this is very good. I love this very much. I think the reason I like this so much is thanks to Galvanize Aptitude being multiplicative. Yeah. So you actually get a lot of upfront damage from that, and then you have the damage over time for really beefy stuff. Yeah. Some of the beefier areas, Yeah, it's like, like the war, gun is good example, or something. Do take a few more shots than I would like, but that's fine. Yeah, you know what would fix that? If you use the secondary fire, for it's real. It's very rare that that happens. I really don't want to put the weapon down just yet, so let's try the indifferent facade as well, because they are made to counter setups like this. They are resistant to vital and slash. Clueless. This is surprisingly good. I expected the necromic half of the facade to go down fast, but not the actual facade facade, like the Rocky Boys. This it is means fossilized awesome. or what? what this might actually become my default like go-to rifle. I'm having yeah, so your daily driver. This. All right, I'm glad he's having fun. So his build was this? Yeah, his build was this. Yo, unironically, W to NC Gamer CZ for having a, build, a better build than fucking Gaz. What? How is that even possible? When Gaz is, like, supposedly specializing in that shit. That's crazy. Hey, his build could use some help still. Actually, no, his build is fine. I, I think his playstyle <laughs> needs some help instead. But overall... Uh, yeah, it's not the, it's surprisingly not the worst build in the world. I would probably argue that he could use something different than Vile Acceleration and then go Arcane Acceleration, since he's also using Inaris, who doesn't need many Arcanes. But, you know, each to their own, each to their own. His build works, for sure. His build is actually decent. Also, deadhead if he likes using primary fire instead of secondary fire. But, uh, you know. Welcome to the start of it. Rate the build with guided ordnance for real. No, but he decided to not put guided ordnance at the end, so good. You know?
And then we actually have an actual good style to build. I didn't look for a lot in order to get this, but... I had the opportunity to use this rifle during a Pathos Clown's run the other day, and instantly I could feel its power cruising through my hands. The satisfaction it brings when fired is truly remarkable, as each kill sends enemies flying and impels them onto walls. Can the Stalter do level cap? She missed as well, that one. Upon checking the weapon's characteristics, there doesn't have- Yeah, explanation, yeah, 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 I just wanna see the build. Stalter build. Uh, oh, she has a ribbon that gives him damage, fire rate, and minus infested. I pursued a conventional critical damage build, modding critical delay, vital sense, and vigilante supplies. To enhance my firepower, yeah, so I included French, the multi shot, modding galvanized Using all the clips of Of course, so... it's crucial to include galvanized aptitude as it's multiplicative. Lastly, as I played the mission Kappa and Senna, I modded Prime Bane of Greenier along with the Arcane Primary Deaded. Crazy. Is it that hard to get a build yeah, like this you. going on? Is it really that hard? And imagine if you have like, you know, if you have a toxin here, you just replace infected clip instead of observation and you're still good to go. This right here is a good salta build. And you can tell that it's a good salta build because he's fucking one-shotting with primary fire. You may be like, oh, but it's all the clips. Well, it, it all the clips didn't even show what percentage he had. He could have had like a hundred percent right here. Just saying. So let's go back to MC Gamer CZ channel, and we will show the video that actually started this all. So the Kuva Ogres video. So I am not here to shade any, you know. I'm not here to shade or throw any hate to MC Gamer CZ because obviously he's playing to have fun and all of that. But he is completely clueless about modding this weapon. And I am saying this uh, to help because if you are a new player and you want to find a Kuva Ogris build and you go and see this build and thinking it's good, then you are fucked as much as he is. <laughs> you know? Hi. Today, we're going to be talking about the Kuva Ogres, because it is one of the best skins. Yes. Let's start off with Steel Path. So, look at the starting build he, he, he used. He has a 25% Radiation Ogres with Radiated Reload, <laughs> and Galvanized Aptitude, and no damage. We all know how this Open is going to go. It not work don't without we? Mutation. I think we can start off with Steel Path, so let's -a go. Yeah, yeah. And hope that it's okay. Steel Path level 100 booters don't die in one shot from direct hits as well. Oh my god, that is uh, big. <laughs> We're gonna have to change the energy color on this. The damage is okay. The damage is not okay. It's a primer ogres, real. Dude works on Napalm. So the, then he, he goes and does some changes, Deep, right? Like dark black color. The one from Fear is very good. I'm going to add more damage to this. So let's switch thermite rounds for Hellfire. Mm -hmm. We lose some That's status, good but we get more heat. That's which a good is change. Nice. How much status do we get from regular aptitude? Not a lot, but I mean, I don't think Galvanize aptitude works on Napalm anyway. Let's okay, but like it's 4% stats. Let's also add Harold into the mix for a bit of extra priming. That's going to help a lot. There we go. That's better. It's still not amazing, but we're getting there. So Yay. this is the problem with running a setup with ramp up on a weapon that has no ammunition. Like, I'm so worried. Like, I'm almost out of ammo and I've only just begun to yeah. run. Yeah. You know why you don't have fucking serration on an AOE weapon? Like, what are you doing? You don't have serration on AOE. What is Radiated Reload doing here? Replace it with serration and you're good. 
for ammo drum so that we have more oh, also like he, he changes with supplies, okay. supplies for ammo drum supplies for ammo drum so that we have more spare ammo and then viral. you go carrier so to have the ammo thing and I then like look necessary but i think we're gonna switch firestorm forceration and try so also why not heavy caliber it's the ogres you try want that. the inaccuracy no point testing this in the simulacrum so let's do it See, the problem here is that the mech special was made to counter armor, but because it strips its own armor, right? And then you have the corrosive and radiation, but because this doesn't hit very often outside of napalm, it doesn't really do that. So I think we're going to have to provide armor strip from another source. No. <laughs> yeah, this is going to need a lot of help. Ammo seems to be okay-ish. It's not tremendous, but... We're not running out, which is nice. Also, he's oh, using corrosive right now. Mess. Come here. Or, or maybe not. He has emerald shards. Ooh. You have armor strip. Okay, maybe. You not. have emerald shards, two of them. That's I can tell. Not... He has eight corrosive stacks. He has armor not strip. Bad. I did have to drop an ammo pizza, but that was pretty good. I want to try something. Hold up. Let's take. Wow, he's Design. not gonna put prime Shuffle parents. this over here and oh, bam, he did. big vital and big heat. Okay. Hey. Do I really? Hmm. Like mode, an exterminate. Yeah. You know what? This is actually pretty good. Ammo is super solid. There's actually ammo on the ground, which is nice to see. Um, it's just that it needs a lot of help on its own. It's like okay-ish. It doesn't really work in steel path, but. If you provide armor strip and you have carrier for the mutation and all that, it's not too bad. You could probably get away with running a hound. But the fact that he's running up and down the stairs is like, what the fuck? And just putting ammo mutation on Did the Did you remove your space button? Than it is with carrier and ammo drum, but... I is he doing a challenge of I not jumping? to be considerably worse, but as long as you keep them in your napalm and you hit them with the rocket explosion and you hit close to them so the fall-off doesn't kick in, it's actually quite nice. I really want to put Brian Firestorm back in because it helps with the fall off a lot. But gonna have to nice. And then he just changes the prime mods and no. adds other bane mods. Then you give it a great. much work. Out of help. On the weapon. So yeah, this is the final build. So there are watching the salts of it. I mean, I did watch a lot of salts of it, but you missed them. So this this is like. Now it was the build is okay, -ish, but now we have all the things, right? First of all, why are we not maxing mods here? Second of all, rifle aptitude. Rifle aptitude. This is unacceptable. Third of all, uh, we are not above a hundred percent status chance, sir. Can we please use a sixty sixty mod here instead to get more viral procs and more heat? And finally. Why Bane mod and why not Serration? You watch his out of it? Yes, I watched a bunch of it. Or no, not Serration, my bad. Heavy Caliber. Why not Heavy Caliber here? This is a weapon that needs to ramp up damage anyway, and you need to help it somehow, because it's not going to ramp up damage ever. And this build, right here, it doesn't, it doesn't do enough damage. You need to help Nightwatch Napalm by adding more heat damage, which he has done. And then you need to somehow help get more um, hit damage here. This radiation here is like ruining the weapon. You need to get a hit for Janitor. You need to get more hit damage to help Prime Firestorm. You need Vigilante Supplies because like what the fuck is Ammo Drum doing here? You're not going to run out of ammo if you're killing stuff with Vigilante Supplies. And you are going to. And then... What's... Under 100% status chance on the Ogres is criminal. Like, <laughs> says the person with 75% real. I mean, I have a ribbon that gives me crit damage and multi shot, so it doesn't matter. If I didn't have this, then I would need to add a hellfire here. And in fact, if I don't use the ribbon, guess what? I'm using the heat mod thermite rounds, and boom, I'm 100% crit uh, status chance now. But I have multi shot from this, which gives me an extra shot, so I don't need to get it. But here is the build without. I got like 75% as well. Yeah, if you have a ribbon, that's how much you should have. Let's see what this does.
Look at the heat box. You really think this is not gonna kill? I know the Raven mod that I have adds a lot of damage, but... Now we're stacked. No damage? Yeah, real. Yeah, bro. No damage. Level 180 heavy gunners. No damage. No damage. Fucking XD. I think 63 hit procs is no damage, for real. Now, this is with the ribbon. Like, it's just. I don't know, he doesn't know what Nightwatch Napalm does. That's the. I don't personally see the damage. I mean. Maybe you can't because the bitrate is down, but I mean. Now we have zero stack, so obviously heavy gunners will take a lot more shots, but now they die. Right? You see 100 hit procs now because the multi shot is adding so much. And now if we play this. Wow, look at that. But try to look at it because uh, I don't know how much you can see from the bitrate of the video, but 61 hit procs remain 61 hit procs. You feel me? And this is without any kind of buffer. No ammo drum, not valid. Real. L bully. <laughs> uh, yeah. So MC Gamer, I don't know if you watch my videos, but seeing as you have, you know, some of your videos have been about weapons that I use. You know. Yeah. yeah. Tigris, Salta, Kuvogris, hmm? Basmo. Hmm? You may be, you may be, you may be coming. Up, you may be coming. You, you may have come across uh, some of my videos for sure. And if you come across this video, or if somebody sends you this video, this is not to send you hate. This is to help you get the ogres to where you want it to be. Uh, by giving you some advice because you obviously like the gun and you have a skin of it on it you lucky fucker I don't have it and you want to make it better so this is the way to kind of make it better and then Harrier can stack with vigilante supplies and you're good to go if you want to go that way but you don't really need to this will absolutely help you do the mission with whatever you want so uh, this is gonna be the longest video I've uploaded despite the Dark Souls uncut stuff, and what the fuck? I, I, I am not glad I watched the build. <laughs> okay, we're keeping those for next week, but yes, um, let me... Yo, it's right, right here. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, we're gonna continue. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please join the Discord to send me your build so we can do this every Monday. This was a bit of a longer episode because we're gonna we had to take a bit of time to look at YouTuber builds and overall, you know, it was a pretty fun experience in my opinion. I think we should keep doing that for other stuff. Maybe, possibly. We go jail now, Rio. Uh, but yes. Don't forget to join Discord, Twitch, Discord links in description and I'll see you on the next video.